In this video, let's see the new chapter of class 12th mathematics, the chapter number 3 called as matrices or few people say it has to be matrices. Now matrices is basically the plural term or the plural word of the term matrix or matrix. That means if I say that I have a term called as matrix which is singular then its plural form would be what? Its plural would become matrices. The first thing. The second thing that we will have to see into consideration in this video spe specially, what do you mean by a matrix and what is the basic terminology related to matrix. As you can see the definition is already written on the board. The definition is what? Let's read it together. Definition goes as follows. A matrix is an ordered rectangular, a matrix is an ordered rectangular array of numbers. That means I have been given many numbers and I am basically following an arrangement of those numbers, right? So one would be matrix, more than one would be matrices. The first thing is that. For example, I have a example working for you wherein I have a girl named say Raima and Raima has some stationary articles with her. Raima has 10 pens with her. Now I need to show this information of the number of pens with Raima. So what I would be doing is I can either write number of pens is equal to 10 but if I do not want to write it in a statement form, rather I want to write in what form? In the array of numbers. What is the criterion to write in the array of numbers? You just have to place the number in a big bracket. If I write 10 here, that means it is an array or a matrix representing the number of pens with Rima. So I can write here pens. Similarly, if now I have one another example wherein I say that the number of pens is equal to 10 and the number of say pencils is equal to 5. And now I want to represent this information of the number of pens and number of pencil with Rima. In the form of what? In the form of array of numbers which is also known as a matrix. So how would I do this? I would be doing this simply by first making a big bracket and then finding what all entries need to be made. We need to place this 10 and we need to place this 5. So I can write it first, I'll write 10. I'll make some space which is made here and I'll write 5. So this 10 represents what? This 10 represents the number of pens and this 5 represents what? It represents the number of pencils. So below 10 on above 10 we can write pens and below 5 or above 5 we can write pencils. But now some of you might be confused as to always this matrix or this array has to be rectangular. No, not specifically. That means I can also make the array in this form wherein the first term 10 is written above and the second term 5 is written below. Wherein again what will happen is that yes my 10s will represent, my 10 will represent the number of pens and my 5 will represent the number of pencils. So 10 is again what representing pens and 5 is representing what? Representing pencils. So for two articles I can either represent in a horizontal form or I can represent in a vertical form. This was the case when we had only one working identity or one person into consideration named Rima. But suppose this time I have more than one person. Say this time I have Rima also 
and I have another person say Raj. So what is the method to place the number of pens and number of pencils, this information in an array for both Raima and Raj. First let me make this a bit more beautiful, the J has to be more clear. So it is in this manner, right. Now number of pens was 10 with Raima. So I write in the bracket Raima. And suppose number of pens with Raj is also given. So number of tens with Raima was this. I erase this now. And number of pens with Raj is given. Number of pens is equal to say 8 with Raj. Now if I need to represent this new data in the form of an array of numbers or a matrix, what would I do? I'll follow the same thing. I'll make an array, the rectangular one. And I'll place the information 10 and 8. So I made 10 here and 8 here. So what does 10 represent? 10 represents the number of pens with Raima. And what does 8 represent? 8 represents the number of pens with Raj. And since both these are number of pens only, here I can have pens. So it is basically one row and two columns. But always does the same thing happen? No, the representation can be other way also. How? As we studied that the other way of representation would be, I write here 10 and I write here 8. So what is the difference now? Here it is pens only, but for 10 means for Raima, for 8 means for Raj. So 10 is your Raima and 8 is Raj. So that means whatever information you represent for columns, you can also go the other way around representing it for rows. So the matrix is nothing but what? It is just the arrangement, just the representation, different manners of different types of data. Now moving with the second example, number of pens and pencils, earlier we had this case, now I am changing the example a bit. Suppose I include both Raj and Raima in the story again, number of pens and pencils, this was the case for Raima and again suppose I have some other story that yes number of pens and number of pencils is equal to say 4 and 6 for Raj. So now this is for Raj. And what do I have to do? I have to do the same thing. I have to do the representation or the arrangement. So the arrangement can be done in what manner? There are how many things? There are 1, 2, 3, 4 things to be represented. These things to be represented are known as a specific term. They are known as by the term of elements. So what are they known as by? They are known as by elements. So that means I have four elements this time. Also another word for them is entries. So you either write it as elements or you write it as entries. Means how many terms do you have to represent, right? So let's go back to the example. The example says that we have to take into consideration both Raima and Raj. We have to represent how many pens, how many pencils. Okay. So the array would be what? It would be something like this, wherein I can have a square matrix type form. What is a square matrix? That is the next topic. But let's get things simpler. I have pens, pencils and I have Raima and Raj. So I write here say Raima. I just write in short RIA. I write here Raj and for the columns I write pens and I write pencils. Now observe very carefully that Raima and pencils, what is the data? Where is pencils, pens, pencils, pens, right? So Raima and pens, Raima and pens means 10. So I write here 10. Again, Raima and pencils, where is Raima's data? Raima's data is here. Raima and pencils means 5. So I write here 5. What next? 
what next raj and pens so where is raj here in the array raj is here raj and pens would be what would be four and last but not the least raj and pencils raj and pencils the data is six so i write here raj and pencils the data is six again what are we doing we are basically representing the data raima and pens was 10 so raima and pens right this is the manner we'll be going about but again this is the only way no there is one more alternative what do you do you basically have one more array and this time things are changing things are changing in what manner i write the names not here but above so if it is Raima this side which I write R I A and Raj this side R A J and now pens and pencils are not written above but to the left or the right hand side. So this is pens and below is pencils. I just write PC for short say right now moving about now it is your task to guess Raima and pens. Raima and pens was what? Raima and pens was 10. Next is what? Next is Raj and pens. Where is the information for Raj? Raj and pens is 4. Next, again you move downwards. Raima and PC, that means pencils. So Raima and pencils. Raima and pencils is 5. I hope you are following, right? So it is Raj and Pencils. Where is Raj? Raj is here. Raj and Pencils is 6. So basically, in this video, what we are seeing? We are seeing that what is a matrix? We have seen that. We have seen the ways to represent a matrix. The horizontal things, the horizontal things say this thing. Or the first row, that is called as the row. So one more terminology added up that what is a row? Row is nothing but a horizontal thing and the vertical thing is called as a column. So we have two terms again, rows and columns. Rows are what? Rows are the horizontal things. That means in this matrix, which is here, I have how many rows? I have the first row for Raima, the second row for Raj. Why? Because rows means nothing but as the horizontal things. So rows means horizontal. So here it is one row, here it is the second row. Similarly in the next matrix, for pens we have the first row, for pencils we have the second row. What about this case? This case only one row for pens, right? What about this case? Two rows. First is the horizontal, second is also the horizontal. So horizontal means rows. What about the other word? The other word is columns. Columns are the vertical things. So that means in the examples which we have already studied, how many columns for the first case vertically? Vertically this is 1, this is 2. So it is 2 columns here. What about the second case? Only one vertical line. So it is 1 column here. Take this example. How many columns means how many vertical things? 1, 2. So two columns here. Next example again how many columns? Vertical things? One, two. So two columns. So till now we have started about what? We have studied about rows, about columns and about elements. Elements in entries again let's take into consideration that how many elements means total how many things can you count. So in this case how many elements? One, two. That means ten and eight. So two elements. Come to the next example. How many elements or entries? 1, 2 again. 10 and 8, 2 elements. Here in this example, how many elements? 1, 2, 3, 4. That means 10, 5, 4, 6, 4 elements. Last but not the least, again how many elements? 10, 4, 5, 6, 4 elements. So in this video, by far we have studied what is a matrix? Matrix is nothing but an arrangement of different elements, different entries 
in what manner in an array of numbers you see here array of numbers and matrices can be represented in various forms you can represent it with the help of columns or with the help of rows rows are the horizontal things columns are the vertical things the number of elements or the number of entries in a matrix is same in this video we completed here only in the next video we'll be seeing the basic terminology of matrices wherein we come to know what do you mean by order of matrix in detail